Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Cole Townsend, and today, I got a new guitar. Well, actually, I got the guitar a couple days ago. I just wanted to take a couple days to get used to the guitar, to know it a little bit better. That way, I'm able to make a better video about it. On paper, this guitar really isn't anything special. It's not rare, it's not crazy expensive, it's not expensive at all, actually. It's just different to me. It's something I've never owned before, and something I'm really excited to own. So without further ado, let me show you the guitar. Y'all ready to see it? Wait. wait. There's the headstock, there's that sock, it says Fender on it. It's a Fender acoustic guitar. And more specifically, this is the Fender FA100. I believe it's a juggernaut body shape. I don't really know, see, this is what I'm talking about. I don't know much about acoustic guitars. I've never really spent much time with them. If there's ever a guitar in a guitar store, or something like that, like I'll never really go out of my way to play an acoustic. That's just always how I've been. I've always just liked electrics more. So. That's kind of off topic, but basically, I don't know much about uh, acoustic guitars. I don't know the body shapes, I don't know the sizes, I don't really know much of anything about that. Long story short, I'm kind of in love with this thing, so let's get into that a little bit later. So, why did I get a new guitar, especially after I just got a very expensive guitar just a few weeks ago? And I'm not going to lie to you guys, this guitar was an impulse purchase. I had a wrestling teammate, who's probably watching this video, so what's up Jason, how you doing? I had a wrestling teammate. Snapchat me and be like, hey, I have this guitar, uh, I don't play it, do you want it? I'll sell it to you for 50 bucks. And of course, it's a Fender acoustic guitar for 50 bucks. It seems like a pretty damn good deal. So I didn't really do any research or anything like that. I didn't even ask him for any more pictures than what he sent me. I just said yes. And then boom, tomorrow, next day at practice, I was surprised, not surprised, but I was, uh, I came into contact with this guitar for the first time. So in the parking lot of my club wrestling team, we go out to my car and uh, we open this thing up and I see it for the first time and uh, I go to I go and pick it up and play the first couple notes and of course it's completely out of tune and the strings are, are very rusted, they're still rusted, the fretboard's dry this guitar kinda needs some TLC but that's besides the point even with it being completely out of tune, I was just playing random notes just because it was out of tune, there's no point in playing anything special I could tell that it was very resonant and of course that's kind of the entire point of an acoustic guitar but this one Heck, even more so than some of the really, really expensive acoustics that I've played. This one just sounds really good. Even with those pretty rusty strings. These strings, they're going to need to be replaced. The fretboards need to be hydrated. Like I said, this thing needs to be, it needs to be, uh, get a little bit of a refresher to it. Some TLC, if you will. So I definitely didn't really plan on getting a new guitar. Like I said, especially right after getting my dream guitar. I didn't plan on getting anything else. But 50 bucks for this thing, yeah, it wasn't an impulse purchase, absolutely. But... Do I regret it? No, it's 50 bucks, and I really like this thing. Another reason why I got this guitar is, as some of you guys know, my dad also plays guitar, and he's been looking at getting an acoustic guitar for a while now. He hasn't really settled on exactly what he wanted and if he's even going to get one, but he did look at some Fenders, he looked at some Gibsons, he looked at some PRS Fenders, or, sorry, PRS Acoustics, several others, and yeah, I basically kind of stole his PRS. I mean, we still live in the same house, it's not like he can't just walk right upstairs and take it. But I knew he wanted an acoustic, so I feel like if I stole his PRS, I feel like he should have something that he should be able to uh, to take without asking and, uh, and plink around with if he wants. Yeah, and yeah, maybe he will end up getting his own acoustic that he likes better than this one, because he doesn't even know about this. I'm going to ask him to not watch... He's out of town right now. Uh, I'm going to ask him to not watch this video until he gets back, because that way uh, I can surprise him with it. And um, so sure, it's probably not going to be the, the one he wants, but it's still something that he can plank around with and just uh, enjoy from time to time. And yeah, I talked about this earlier in the video, but this guitar is in need of some TLC. You can tell the fretboard is very dry. It's a lot easier to tell in person. Uh, the strings are very rusty. The headstock, it's very dusty. The whole thing is a little dusty. It just needs a, it just needs a good scrub down, a good clean, some new strings, uh, some oil in the fretboard. Again, just some TLC. And after that, I'm sure this thing will come to life. Another point for this guitar is I've never really had the desire to play an acoustic guitar. If I ever have played an acoustic guitar, it's probably because I didn't have access to an electric one. That's just how much more I like acoustic, or sorry, that's how much more I like electrics over acoustics. But I never had the desire to play an acoustic guitar as much as I do with this one. And of course I played much more expensive and nicer ones than this guitar, but that doesn't mean I like those ones more. Honestly, I like this one a lot more than all of those I've ever played. And this one is a lot cheaper than those. So regardless of price, this one is the favorite, my favorite one I've ever played. Even if it's definitely not the best, it's definitely one of the cheaper ones. I enjoy it. I enjoy playing it a lot more than those ones. 
And that just goes to show you don't have to spend a boatload of money on a guitar just so you enjoy it more. You know, what you like is subjective, and I just happen to like this cheaper acoustic. It's just what I like. I wish I could say the same with Les Pauls. My wallet is not happy with me about that thing. But with this thing, it appreciates me much, much more. And honestly, I bought this guitar fully expecting to not really play it. I mostly bought it just so I could have an acoustic to plink around with whenever I need to, especially for a video and something like that. I did not expect this guitar to be something that I liked as nearly as much as I do. And after playing this guitar for a couple days, I really realized how much I actually like this thing, and how I actually do see myself playing it for fun, and just because I actually enjoy playing it and have a, a drive to play it, like I do with some of my other guitars. I definitely did not expect that to happen. I never really knew that I wanted the acoustic, uh, but now that I have one, like, I'm really glad that I have one. So yeah, I definitely see myself playing this thing a heck of a lot more than I thought I would. So you guys can expect to see this thing in the next episode of Strings and Things, in which I will restring it and talk to you guys and do the Q&A. So you guys will kind of get to see the, uh, the coming to life process of this thing, even if it already has a ton of salt to it. Something I forgot to mention is actually, this thing is really pretty. I haven't really taken the, uh, the time to appreciate that in this video, and even just in general. But now that I'm, I'm able to see it kind of in the, uh, the camera screen here, uh, this thing's gorgeous. Look at this thing. Look at that top. It's nice. So yeah, I think that just about wraps it up for this video. If you guys liked it, then feel free to click like. And if you loved it and you want to see more content from me, feel free to subscribe. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye. Hello? If you guys are still here, thank you guys. It now seems like a great time for a message from today's video sponsor. Me. I just want to take a quick little minute to shout out to something I have in the description, and they are my Amazon affiliate links. If you guys are ever curious to know what picks I use, what amps I have, what guitars I have, or just pretty much anything you can see in this, uh, this background here, I have it for sale in the description below. I have a link to Amazon and all of those are what's called affiliate links. If you guys don't know what an affiliate link is, it's, it's very simple. Basically, I, as an Amazon affiliate, can create a link for pretty much any product that they sell on Amazon, and if somebody, one of you guys, purchases something using my link, then I get a small commission. It doesn't cost you anything extra, so basically there's really no harm in not doing it. So if you guys want to support me, feel free to go down in the description below and just buy anything from Amazon. It doesn't actually have to be the thing that I link. It could be, say you click on a Lego set that I have linked for some reason, and then you do that, and then you buy a comic book. It, 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 doesn't, it doesn't actually matter what you sell, as long as they click on one of your specific links. But anyways, that's that's all I have to say. I'm gonna play. Uh, what should I play? Something that's kind of acoustic-y. Mm, let's do "This House Is Not For Sale" by Bon Jovi. Uh, that song has a capo. I'm not gonna play it with the capo, so I don't get demonetized. Uh, my dog is coughing on my bed. That's strange. Anyways, I'm gonna play some Bon Jovi. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.